Hi, and welcome to an episode of How to Get the Ashes Out of a Pit Boss 1000. I am Pitmaster Brewski, and yes, the Brewski part is my last name. So if you're thinking about a cold beer, I'm your man. All right, but getting back to this. This is a Pit Boss 1000 right here in front of you. When I first got this, which was probably maybe a month ago, I didn't have no idea how to get the ashes out of here. Because there's no, usually some bucket, some have a bucket on the end, like where the ashes fall into. Or maybe the tray right there would pull out and the ashes be in there. But no. They're like, they're like a, it's like a top secret area for some reason. But this is the Pit Boss 1000, as you can see. So what we're going to do is open the lid on this. I took the grates out already. They're down there. But as you can see, this is this is the heating plate, or the heat plate, the, the heat heat guard, whatever you want to call it. But in order, in order to get to the ashes, obviously you want to, you want to clean this off, you know, scrape it off so that all that stuff falls down in the in the grooves, and then we'll re, we will review where it goes. So we got to take this thing off right here in order to get this plate off. Slide that back. Lift it up, slide it back some more, so it kind of stands up by itself. Now we gotta take this plate off, or out, I mean. So we'll let's do that quick. All right. As you can see, in here is where all the ashes are. This is where, like, this is your little firebox, right down there where the action begins. But you can see all the ashes in here. I mean, I've used this maybe three, three or four times. But they recommend they they recommend to clean it out every three to four times. So you got to you got to clean, cook, and it you know it it just runs the way it's supposed to. You don't want to you know you don't want a lot of clutter in there, and and it prevents it from properly functioning. So yeah, let's just go ahead and we'll get this vacuumed out, and then we'll be right back. All right, we are back. There it is. All the ashes are out. Nice and clean. We're ready for some more, more smoking, or grilling, or baking, whatever you want to feel like doing. And this grill can do it all. There it is. And basically, what you do then is just you put it back together, and then you. Uh, just, just like normal, you just fire it up and start cooking. But anyway, this has been Pitmaster Brewski. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, which would be helpful. Because tomorrow, on Friday, I will be making uh, chicken breasts on here. And you are not going to want to miss that. It's, it's such a, it's, they turn out and they taste so good. And I got the recipe and I will share it with you guys. So be be prepared. It's going to be an all weekend thing. I'm going to make a pork butt on Saturday and ribs on Sunday. So I got a few videos coming and I want to share my passion for this. So hopefully you guys tune in and be sure to subscribe and comment if you got any better ideas on, you know, like ingredients and and what you're saying what do you what do you think about your pit boss you know fill me in this is my very first pit boss i've ever had and i, I will never get i will never get go back to a gas grill or charcoal grill this these things are amazing but anyway thank you and we will catch you on the next video Bye bye